another overview video, this one being OB13. This is Own Boss Plygo's 13 giveaway. This was a little bit nutty. Uh, I know I say that every time, but we continuously outdo ourselves in everything we do. And uh, here's the result, right behind me. Now, I have two things to say. Well, number one is, OB12's launch video was kind of really cool. I think you guys really enjoyed it. The comments were really nice. You guys said a lot of cool things. There was a lot of interaction. And you guys really liked the idea that we gave away $500 for doing for you doing nothing. Like You have to watch a video and you can make 500 bucks. And two people did. If you want to be like those two guys who, I forgot their names. If you want to be like those guys, what that you're asking yourself, oh my God, what did they do to make 500 bucks? They literally liked this video, they commented on this video, and they proved to us that they subscribed to Almost Black YouTube channel. And they sent a screenshot of all of that to Almost Black DMs and said, hey, I want to get in for the $500 free giveaway. And they did, they won it. So if you want to do the same thing, we're doing that now. October 31st, Halloween day, we're releasing the winners of whoever wins the $500 giveaway. We have two, two winners, so we're giving $1,000 away for literally liking and subscribing to a YouTube channel. It's stupid. We're gonna get into it, ready? You ready, Mitch? Let's go. You ready, you ready? Let's go. Ready? Okay. So basically, we have a brand new 2022 low trail trailer. 25 foot, five foot mega ramps. Somebody asked me, why do you say it's 25 foot trailer with the five foot, what is a mega ramp? Ready, Mitch? Let's go. So, the trailer, the deck is 20 feet long, right? Yes. 20, 20 or 25 actually. Maybe I haven't seen it on the whole time. Why? Mitch, I have been misleading my customers and my friends and family for about a year now. What did you just find out? I say this wrong. It's technically, I mean, I say it right. It's technically a 25 foot trailer with five foot mega ramps, but that means it's a 20 foot deck with five feet of excess. So me and Chris have been saying this wrong. It's not a 25 foot trailer with five foot of extra ramps. It's a 20 foot trailer with five foot mega ramps. All in total, 25 feet. All in total, 25 feet. Nailed it. My brain is <laughs> melted right now. It's a lie. It's all a lie. It's all of a scam. We're all scam. <laughs> so, no, it, it is a 25-foot gooseneck with five feet of mega ramp access. Is that a better word? That's perfect. All right. So, the deck is technically 20 feet, and the last five feet of the deck are these giant ramps that are called mega ramps because they're mega huge. Pop it open. <laughs> Sorry, paint job. I paid $15,000 for that paint job. I just scratched it up. Giant. Giant mega ramps. It's really cool with these trailers. Basically, for a mini excavator, it's not the most ideal trailer. Uh, tilt trailer would be amazing, but the universal attributes of a gooseneck are amazing because if you want to take a long bed, crew cab, uh, F350 that's broken, and you want to flip it on Facebook, you're like, ah, I'm picking the truck up. You just throw that truck up on the trailer, you know, mount a winch on there, throw it there, and you can use it. You want to haul your skidster, you can use it. You want to haul your uh, mini excavator, you can use it. You want to haul attachment. It's cool because gooseneck you can load from the side, you can load from the back. They're really cool. Not the most ideal, and I know this for a mini excavator, but the whole point is to be your own boss and use it as multiple objects, not just the machine, right? So the mega ramps are a very, very good attribute of this trailer because load trail makes the best trailers. Everything else kind of sucks. In my opinion, I love load trail. We don't believe in giving stuff away that we don't like ourselves. That's why Kath's giving away. That's why I give away all the big three badass trucks. And that's why we give away a low trail because low trail is the most badass trailer you can get. All right, so we have uh, 22 rock plates along this entire trailer. Real quick, where's that uh, rock light switch? Mitch, thank you for reminding me. Hold the finger. Oh, looks even better. I know it did a very good job of making it legit, too. It really looks factory. This thing was all black when we bought it, brand new. Literally had it stacked on top of other trailers. Didn't even drive it. Bought it, blacked out, murdered from factory, right? And then uh, decided to sandblast it and paint it. A fifteen thousand dollar gloss fire orange. I'm just kidding. It looks really cool. It's very very cool. Yeah, sandblast the entire thing. It was all black, painted orange to match the machine up top, which is Mitch keeps pointing at. He wants to talk about the machine now. He's over the trailer. <laughs> that machine is a 2016 Cat 303.5 that was all gross yellow and not looking cool. Tore it all down, sandblasting it, painted it gloss orange, painted everything that was black gloss black now. So like the cab up top is all black. All the at like. The arm and everything, obviously you can see it was orange, but before it was yellow and kind of grimy, grease stains, a little eh, right? And then just painted it all, it looks sweet. And the machine has 2200 hours on there. Even went so far as painting the teeth, painting the cat logo. We took all the hydraulics off, checked them, paint, because they were off anyways, so you painted it. So we took them off the machine, checked them, painted them, new cotter pins, new everything that we could possibly replace when we are up there, uh, tearing the machine apart. And then we did a surfacing on this machine. So fuel filter, oil change, hydraulic filters, Hydraulic oil was fine, it was just changed. So 
Um, that's sweet, but you know, we always get these things inspected by Michigan Cat every single time. You hear that? That boy's like thick, thick. Inspection's done. Machine's solid, ready to rip, ready to make you money. Trailer's ready to go, brand new. Brand new actually, brand new tires, too, by the way. We uh, are so OCD that we take the tires off the brand new trailers <laughs> and put new tires on the tires, on the, on the wheels, because <laughs> we're ridiculous. What? Like, this doesn't, if you think about it, bitch, it doesn't make any sense. No. You bought a brand new trailer with no miles on it, we go, needs different tires, the tires aren't cool enough. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. How extra of us. Oh, there's a bee on you, Mitch. Let's check out the interior of this machine because it's a uh, mint. Okay, real quick. There we go. So the Cat 303.5, this bully is sweet. 2200 hours on her. Check all your hours, your fuel percentage, your fuel level, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Really, really cool. Nice little screen. Got your tooth on there. Got your extra little grapple bucket there. This thing does have a radio, which is cool because most of the machines we get don't have radio. This boy has a nice little cat radio in here. So when you're vibing to your work, you just blare the radio. So I'm gonna get out, I'm turning this thing off. The machine has been taken care of throughout this whole life. The seat is not replaced, this is the original seat. And the seat will tell you everything about a machine. The cool thing about excavators is that um, they they don't get the abuse like a skid steer or um, pretty much any other machine does. Like these things kind of just sit where they're at and just move around. All the wearable points are kind of just right here where a skid steer like you're you're running, the thing is moving the entire time. Where excavators are not really moving too much. They're kind of sitting still, moving side to side, loading, unloading, digging holes. So um, so the, the 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 abuse is a lot less than than an average machine. So you can tell what that abuse level is by the interior quality and, and the scratches. It's not been repainted. This is like how the normal machine is. we got it. I mean, we didn't do much to it. So you look how clean it is. It has a radio, has AC, has tint on there. You have your screen. It's it's just a very well equipped. Nice view. There's no backup camera because it's an uh, excavator. <laughs> but, I mean, you can just tell this thing's been taken care of and it's nice. So, I'm going to unlatch the door. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to show you guys the engine bay of this thing. So, boom. Let me open this thing up real quick. And there she is. So, you can, even, you can immediately tell with the excavators how much minimal abuse they get because nothing is ever really dirty. And we didn't clean this machine at all. Like, the guy we bought off didn't clean it. <laughs> We didn't clean it. They just don't get beat on like a normal machine would. There's no leaks in this thing. It's been completely ran through and made sure it's, it's running correctly and it's really nice. So, and then here's the hydraulics. Let's check this out. Hold on. So, uh, here's the hydraulic. Woo! I almost ate it. I almost fell off the trailer. All right, here's where the hydraulics are at. So, basically, you can see you can check all your lines in here. There's a leak. If there's an issue, your hydraulic filters are in here and you can tell there's never been anything wet in this thing ever. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but. It's mint. So here's the machine, boys. It's a super nice, super well-maintained 303, and we are giving it away, and it could be yours. If you need something like this, you should swipe them again, because you know what? It's kind of crazy that we're just giving this away for a price of a t-shirt. Oh, and the trailer, and the truck, and 30 grand. Woo! Had zero miles on it, decided, hey, we need a work truck, and the giveaway can wait, so we drove it 8,000 miles. <laughs> it's kind of a lot, but... <laughs> no big deal. No big deal, but at least it was me driving, or Noah, or Chris, so it was taken care of, and not beat on, and not harshed down into the valleys of shadow of death it was fine okay we did trail over some machines on there a few times but you know what I'll tell you right now we wouldn't have better people driving it than me and chris or noah because own boss truck is white underneath it and we decided to wrap it 3m gloss fiery orange which turned out absolutely insane shout out to jake from mint auto customs in Nova, michigan that dude does all the wraps on all our vehicles all the tint everything and decals and decals and all the little stuff that we want to do. We're like, Jake, help us, please. We don't have, we're not good. Our hands all shake. We can't do it. And he helps us out. So saying that, let's... Come on, Mitch. Ready? So... Do you have an old picture of this truck? So we can snap it. Are I you snapping it? I think I do. We're going to pretend like you do. Ready? So, old picture. Boom. Right? Oh, look at it. It's so gross. It's so nasty. You have all the chrome and all the non-tinted windows and grossness of not being cool and stock right height. Snap back into reality. Snap Mitch again. Boom. Right back to here. Yeah, so this is all chrome before you saw. Absolutely uh, took the grill off, murdered the grill out, painted gloss black, and then inside the grill, instead of painting all these little orange pieces, like actually paint, we wrapped them, so that way we, when you decide that you don't want to be a big orange popsicle anymore, you can pop off all these things and just have a black dot grill, which is cool. The the logos are all customly done too. Obviously, you know, the GM logo, GMC logos are all like chrome with the red in it and grandpa, no. This is a black dot logo with a orange insert that's been painted. Sorry if you want to take the truck and take it to be unwrapped you have to paint your logos black or something I guess but anyways yeah so the grill's blacked out I have a little orange accents that are wrapped on there 
We painted the lower balance. It's usually chrome. Painted the tow hooks, which is funny because the tow hooks shouldn't be painted, but they are. It's actually look cool. Aesthetic. Yeah, aesthetic. If you want to use like one time, it'd be peeled off, but it's cool. The lower fog lights are all uh, like VH, not VH2, they're like wrapped. It's like a tint wrap of some sort. Jake would know, I'm not a tint professional, but basically you throw a tint over the front of it and it kind of makes it look blacked out. It makes the truck look bigger. And then these surrounds were all, all chrome, now they're painted black. And then the big, I love this, Mitch, it's my favorite thing ever to do trucks ever, and Chris hates it because it's expensive, but I love it, it looks cool, is doing the headlights. So obviously the normal GMC headlights are not black. They're like really bright chrome because it's supposed to be a luxurious chrome grandpa truck where like people like have to like look at my chrome. Like chrome, Chris's trucks. Like the chrome dome. <laughs> Instead of doing that, <laughs> we decided to black everything out because we're degenerates and blacking things out is cool. So we took the headlights, tore them all apart. Actually, I didn't do it. Somebody did it for me because I don't know how to do that. It's very like, but you have to put them in the oven and like heat them up and peel them apart and everything. Yeah, it sounds really expensive and like $3,000 each for the headlight, so I just didn't do it. So, peel them apart, paint them all black, and then we slapped our logo in there. So whoever wins this truck, you can't, you're kind of stuck with us unless you like crash it and lose a headlight or you take the headlights out of it. So we're stuck with you forever. Sorry, but you get what you get. Don't throw a fit. It's from top to bottom, Mitch. Top to bottom. Get top to bottom? Get your hands over here. Oh. Yes, sir. So Jake made us a little surprise gift. Duramax, on boss logo. Kind of cool. Usually they're normal like 66 Duramax logos. Uh, took that out and put our own little epoxy Duramax logo in there, really cool. And also this surround is usually chrome, painting that gloss black, looks really good. Flows in and ties together the entire theme of the whole truck being black and orange. On the truck we have 24 rock, rock lights, they're bright. And like I said, like on the trailer, don't be driving around on them. On the freeway, to look cool, <laughs> it's illegal, don't do that. Just, they're for off-road use only. Going down to the lift. So the lift is a three inch Cognito lift kit, basically, I think it's pretty badass. I like Cognito stuff. It's very expensive. So usually like, get your, get your camera in here. Like this lift has like stuff riveted on it from factory and billet aluminum. It's kind of like, cool and expansive. And then we have the Fox Performance Series Fox shocks all the way around. It's also really cool and is as an option in almost every lift kit and people don't do them because they're expensive. This one has it because Fox shocks are cool and they have cool logos and they ride good. And uh, the wheel setups. To go along with the Fox cool shocks and the giant wheel and tires that we have here, we have a 24 by 9 JTX Forge wheel setup which is on 37. So the result from that is this. It looks fucking sick. I wish you could see these a little more. If they were chrome, you could. GTX Forge. Bah, GTX Forge. And they have Own Boss Supply Co. on the wheel. Ha, <laughs> you're all so stuck with us. If you win this, you can't get away. Sorry, a lot. Table your center caps. Bill Aluminum center caps are Own Boss logos. Pretty sick. And guess what, like I said, we're trying to trap you. So if you get this thing, you're trapped in the Own Boss world forever. Not a bad world to be in, though. <laughs> Blacked out the little marker lights. Um, decided not to paint everything on the truck. Every single portion we did not paint because when you do that, it looks disgusting after like a thousand miles. And we want you to, you know, the last two winners uh, lived uh, 2,400 miles away. So I figured, eh, we'll leave it blacked out so whoever wins this thing doesn't destroy the way home. Uh, especially about to be winter, you're gonna ruin it. Nah, no, nah, thanks. So, this is all the stock, gritty plastic, which is, for longevity reasons, pretty sweet. The top of it, though, is painted to add a little bit of spice. Um, the bottom of the doorstep, automatic steps, pretty sweet, not bad. Um, factory, no big deal. Uh, wrap these, wrap the little like strip of orange on there to bring a little zest to it. Almost pipe on the doors. 5% of the sides, 35 on the windshield for the tent. A little black out door handle action because uh, I didn't feel like ripping the door, the door panels apart and destroying all the wiring and whatnot. On the uh, rear end of the truck, what are you flipping in your hand, man? Why is he being so ADD? This right here, boys, is the coolest invention. Airlift is a cool company. They make airbags. They're cool. They're cool dudes. They have a really cool company. One of the manufacturers that makes a Bluetooth airlift system, air, air ride system, sorry, uh, airbag system, maybe is the better term. Uh, basically, what are airbags? Like, what are airbags do? Why would you want airbags in your car? Every semi truck on the road has airbags in them for a reason because airbags support a lot of weight, like very easily, very easily, and you can control them and monitor leaks and whatnot and so forth very very easily. Commercially driven across the entire country, airbags are like the go-to thing. And that's why we threw them on the own boss setup, baby. So it's a Bluetooth system, Wi-Fi. Actually, you download an app and you connect it to your phone. You can basically change it while you're driving, or you could just be not lazy and just click the button on top of your head, <laughs> right above you. But basically, <laughs> at a click of a button, you can drop the pressure. Oh, what? I'm trying to drop it. There we go. Or raise it up, Mitch. 
go 66. Actually, 69. There we go. There you go. So, the click of a button, you can really stabilize your truck for just about anything you're hauling. If you're just hauling an empty trailer, there's no reason you need 66 pounds of pressure in your bags at all. There's no reason to. So, drop it down, truck wise a lot better. If you're hauling, suffer the ride a little bit, suck it up, buttercup, and raise your pressure up so your truck has the stability of hauling whatever you're hauling. 69 is funny. Truck with the lift, the rock lights, the wheels, the tires, the front end, the headlights, the airbags. We came to the rear, we ghosted the tail lights, changed the ammo out, and painted the tip. It does have DPF and it does have EGR because those are not legal to take off. Sorry, we can't delete your trucks. We would love to, but we can't. Look at that. It's the hair, bro. It's the hair. It's just the hair. Check that. I want you to look. The grace. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Big brain. All right, so this is the uh, the 2022 with 8,300 miles on it. Basically, this truck is fully equipped. It's a Denali. It has this, like, dark blue. If you can't really see it. I'm trying to see. So it's this gray blue with this brown interior. I don't mind it because it, it's just different and it actually looks very, very nice. Heated steering wheel. You have your nice little uh, radio controls. This is Seek, so it basically you change your radios, your media, and the one over here, just like a Dodge, is your audio up and down. Um, you have your infotainment, infotainment. you have your uh, your uh, informational screen right here. So I'm gonna set my camera up and I'll show you guys this. So you can go through a bunch of different settings. Um, one being, I get there we go. So you can like show all your pads, your miles per gallon, your fuel filter, you know, everything. So it's really, really, really cool. Big fan of this. GM does a very good job of giving you a bunch of information to look at. Your displays, and they let you change almost everything, which is cool because the Fords, not really. Um, the Dodge definitely lacks on this portion of the vehicle. So you have your 360 cameras, which is really cool. Your bed camera, you have your hitch camera, you got your mirror cameras. I don't know why it's blacked out, but you can see down inside your mirrors. It's on your door. You can see everything behind you, which is really cool. Um, front cam, which is absolutely sweet. Um, GM has the best cameras in the truck game. Change of mind. Ford's cameras are blurry. These are very, very crisp and clear. Not showing them on, on the camera very well, but you can just, they look at everything. It's freaking sweet. Look at the wheel. GM's technology is amazing. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of it. Uh, their screen, their CarPlay, they have wireless CarPlay. It works really, really well. Um, everything in this truck is amazing. You have cooled, heated seats, as well as your $30,000 in a cup holder when you, when you win the truck. It's a key fob so you guys can see it. Nice little barcode in there, brand new. Um, so, yeah, it's just a nice truck, man. Back seat's full of clothes right now from the ad shoots, but this truck is just super, super nice. You, have, you can set all your seat controls, you can set everything in this thing. Bose upgraded audio. Um, this thing's just sweet, man. It is four-wheel drive. You have your trailer backup, which no one's ever going to use, because why would you need that? Here is the interior, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little walkthrough. Do you have a sunroof? You got your little back glass window opener thing, too? Appreciate These guys are chatting in here. If you're seeing the movie Smile, that's him right there. <laughs> you see that movie? Yeah, the movie's creepy as hell. All right, all right, all right. 2022. I know I'm being goofy, ladies and gentlemen, but in all seriousness, we are giving this entire step away. This is our 13th giveaway. It's a crazy milestone. Thank you guys for the support. Um, you, if you do swipe up and pick up some merch, swipe up, hit the link, and pick up some merch, go to ownbossplaco.com, pick up a hoodie or hat or whatever, you literally can win this whole thing, just like 12 other people have. So 2022 Denali, completely done as much as possible as much as possible. I mean, you could do a little more thing, but I mean, not, not really. But to keep it a what work truck. You, what else can you do to this thing to really make it workable and usable and not being a show truck? It's just like the most showy, workable truck you can probably do. Um, 22 Denali, brand new 2022 25 foot gooseneck, and a 2016 Cat 3 3.5 plus $30,000 in cool dark cash, but you gotta buy merch to get it. So if you wanna buy a t-shirt, then don't buy a t-shirt. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Someone's gonna win it, and it could be you. If it's not you, then you'll... You're lost for not trying. If you guys are watching this far, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, screenshot it, send to our Instagram, you win $500. Okay? You just think. Miss, what's the tip of the day? Uh, don't eat yellow snow. Don't eat yellow snow.